Khibian residents say it has now been almost two weeks since some parts at the village received water as they missed out even during the rationing. In this situation, Abraham Gausep says it's unacceptable. He wants council to restore the water as a matter of agency. We cannot use toilets in our houses. We are also forced to collect water from the fountain to wash dishes. But that water is polluted and not fit for human consumption. Some residents whose water accounts are up to date say it is unfair towards them to suffer because of council's failure to pay debt with NAM water. Out of desperation, some residents like this couple collect water from a polluted fountain. During this period, the local clinic is experiencing a spike in visits from residents complaining of stomach cramps and diarrhea. Registered nurse Charlie Jeremiah is in charge of the clinic and says attending to mothers and treating patients with open wounds requires water. There is no water to wash off the blood and, and, and his infection, you know, and uh, it's, it's very... Uh, other women can be contaminated with infection, you know, we are talking about HIV and AIDS also. Desire to Nissen, the chief executive officer of the village council, calls on the residents to be patient while council looks for solution to this water crisis. The village owes the bulk water supplier millions of dollars. From the outcome of this meeting, I can confidently say this is other strategies that we will follow, but I can rest assured my residents that um, Fulion residents as well as the region at large that we are working on it. We have kicked off as of yesterday, um, consultations has kicked off and we are now currently busy strategizing how we will get out of this.